Um, so in this problem we need to find the uh, electric potential at point O where point O is here. So we have a piece of wire bent in this form with a semicircle in the center and the point O is right at the center. Uh, we have said that uh, the piece of wire has a linear charge density lambda. So it's a uniformly charged with a linear charge density lambda. Uh, we also know that the radius of the of the semicircle is r, and this distance here is 2r, and this one is also 2r. So the question is, what is the electric potential at O? Now, the electric potential at point O can be considered as the sum of electric potentials due to three elements. First, second, and third. Okay, so one, two, and three. So all these three elements add up uh, for an electric potential at point O. So we can say V0 is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now, just from the geometry uh, of the problem, you can see that the electric potential due to the first element is the same as the uh, electric potential due to the third one. So V1 and V3 are actually the same. So let's first go ahead and calculate the electric potential due to uh, the first element, V1. Now to do that, uh, let's draw a separate picture, like this. And let's say that uh, this is our x-axis, this is x equals r, and this will correspond to x equals 2r. Now we know that uh, electric potential due to a point charge is equal to kq over r. Now in our case, we can think of a small element of charge, so small element of that wire that has a length of dx. Now this element of wire with a length dx carries a certain amount of charge, dq. So that element of charge is equal to lambda dx, where lambda is the uh, linear charge density. And this element is located at the distance at the distance x from this point O. So we can say that the contribution to the electric potential at point O due to this charge element is dV k dQ over x or we can say that this is equal to k lambda dx over x. So if we want to find the contribution of the entire element, of the entire first element, we have to do the integration. So v due to the entire first element is equal to k lambda integral dx over x and we have to integrate from r to 2r so from r to uh, 3r sorry this should be 3r now the whole thing is 2r so this would be 3r so when we do the integration we just put the limits so from r to 3r so this becomes k lambda, and this is an integral of a, of a natural log. So this is log x from r to 3r. If you put the limits in, you get k lambda 
log of 3r minus log of r, and this gives you log 3. Um, so, well, this was v1, and similarly is v3, because we said that v1 and v3 are identical. So everything that's left now is to calculate the contribution due to the semicircular part, that is v2. To calculate for v2, what you, what you can notice is that every point on the semicircle is at the same distance from the point O. So which means that all the charge is at the same distance. So v2 is equal to k times the charge on the entire semicircle. Now the length of the semicircle is pi r and the charge density is lambda. So this would be the total charge of the semicircle divided by the distance r. So we finally get k pi lambda. So the total electric potential at point O thus becomes the sum of this one twice plus twice the sum this thing. And you can uh, take k lambda out, so you get pi plus 2 log of 3. So this is the uh, electric potential at point O.